I have a dream. guys we're uh heading over to the metro station heading into dc today i wasn't feeling too well yesterday so uh, sorry for not posting a vlog you didn't miss anything i was basically in bed pretty much all day that's some kind of stomach thing and i'm wondering if it was from that curry you guys saw me eat not really sure still not 100 percent but we're going out today anyway so we'll see how it goes but i don't have any problems <laughs> Just gonna make sure I have enough on my little metro card thing to make sure I can actually get back to the hotel. I have 625. Should be good enough because I think it's only like a three dollar ride. It's like the tunnel of love. Uh, you, wanna make, you wanna make out on the escalator, babe? Mm, no. no? Uh, no. Right. We have one more flight of escalators. Got a service dog with him. So our tour picks up right around the uh, corner. Um, well, bam, bam. Yep. How about that? And uh, we're in this uh, area of uh, Chinatown, Washington, D.C. That's so cool. The crosswalk has got like some zodiac signs. Ooh. Oh, we found the Starbucks. Of course, we gotta get our Java fix. So we're on G Street. This must be the original OG. <laughs> Very VIP looking bus for... It's the National Capitol, guys. It's the Capitol building. And if you hear a lot of bagpipes, just know that it's the um, police officer's war uh, memorial going on right now. So, yeah, a lot of bagpipes for you, Amo. A lot of bagpipes. And yes, I definitely knew that it was not an Irish thing. I'm not sure why people associate it that way, but anyways. So we're now coming up to the uh, Lincoln Memorial and I thought I'd show you guys a quick shot all the way down to the Washington Memorial. This is the National Mall. Lincoln Memorial's right here. Right in front of where Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. It's the Lincoln Memorial guys. And uh, National Mall. Look how pretty. of the uh, Lincoln Memorial and inside there is the big bust of uh, Abraham Lincoln it says I don't know if you guys can see it but across the top it says all the states like Georgia New Jersey Connecticut etc the original colonies basically It was from this spot where Martin Luther King Jr. actually gave that speech. Right at the very top of those stairs. Pretty awesome. In front of Abraham Lincoln, the quintessential president that freed the slaves. 
awesome stuff. It's all about unity, it's all about connectivity, and it's all us being as one, as a spirit, moving forward. Not separated, not divided, awesome stuff. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims cry. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Walking now into the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. And no matter what, what that reminds us is, is that regardless of who or what, like an orange Oompa Loompa, nothing can take away our unity and our direction from being one. Certainly a very gloomy day. Some more stairs. Getting the calf workout this time around. Not a lot to see up these stairs. Just wanted to point out this house. This is uh, Frederick Douglass's house here in the Washington DC area. Frederick Douglass basically pushed for the uh, okay. freeing of the slaves during the Civil War. And uh, so if you're not from the United States, that name doesn't sound very familiar to you. Um, you should go look him up. Pretty incredible guy. Not so invisible wife. <laughs> Just inside the little gift shop here. Nothing fancy. Kind of creepy. This is Frederick Douglass's death mask. Ooh. Thank you. So right outside of Lincoln Theater. No, this is not where Abraham Lincoln was shot. That would be Ford Theater. And uh. Gotta have a little bit of YouTube street art on our vacation.
Say hi to the YouTubers. The last stop. This is the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. It's really awesome. It's supposed to represent like a like a crown. It's really cool. So we didn't have to wait through the line. We just had passes because we took the tour. Look how pretty it is in here. <laughs> so if you know Paige, uh, this has been like a big bucket list item for her. And uh, you're here now, babe? Yes. She's been looking forward to this for a really long time. It's really cool to come and see all this history. Yep. Plenty of escalators on this trip, guys. <laughs> so the thing about this uh, museum is it's got a huge waiting list to get in but um i mean that's how popular this museum out of all the smithsonian's are and i think it's the newest one if memory serves me well so, they only give out tickets at certain times of the day and if you're trying to if you can snag same day tickets perfect otherwise you have to order them three days three months in advance It's a uh, on-screen version of the Emancipation Proclamation. So after the Civil War, in the uh, from like the 30s through the 60s, we had something here called Jim Crow laws. Basically, made everything segregated. So even though they were free, you couldn't use the bathrooms. The same as whites, couldn't use certain hotels, we had specific hotels called out for colored, quote unquote, only. Look at this. That's so sad. If that doesn't tell you how bad it is, guys, or was, what's sad is there's still plenty of this, especially by where we live. I mean, it's clear that prejudice is definitely not dead, especially in our area of the world, in the South in the uh, North Carolina areas so it's pretty sad and what makes things even worse is that they put themselves under the guise of Christianity and that's just what makes my stomach turn all the more fighting along the old lines making a way out of nowhere building bridges for their children asking more problems than making a new yeah. The camaraderie and shared sacrifice of the front line transcend the other line. <laughs> this is probably my favorite because I'm a huge Civil War person. I have quite a few collectibles as well. Yep. To think we used to put our fellow Americans in handcuffs just because of the color of their skin. Unreal. And beyond those, history had the chance to record. So back in the day, I mean, and it still happens today, thanks to some party that's currently in power, that the people had to go and pool their own resources in order to educate their kids. How sad is that? So in my personal opinion, you know, so we don't outright have segregation, but people in power work really hard to reduce the amount of funding for education. Keep your people down. It's pretty crazy.
the printing press guys. Get the word out. Hate is not cool. So we were a little hungry and um, we decided to get ourselves some food. Uh, Kai and Shri, I found some very lovely treats for you. Some cakes. Here you go, babe. We're sharing a very tasty heart-shaped cake. <laughs> it's very rich. I don't know yeah. how anybody can eat this whole cake. It's hurting our teeth a little bit. It's so sweet, but yeah, yummy. it's got like maybe mm. raspberry or something. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most prolific thing besides slavery. It's all prolific, right? But this is everything from the 60s. But the aftermath after the Martin Luther King assassination. Check it out, guys. Wow. Check out that hood ornament. Nothing but dedicated to all the music. From Jackson's to BB King, it's all here. Check it all out, guys. Some stuff from Little Richard, too. My God. Yeah. Bo Diddley. So awesome. That is so awesome. These guys are awesome. And just when you thought you haven't seen everything yet, this is the official P Funk mothership. And they actually have some of George Clinton's outfits. Check that out. And it also has some stuff over here what? from Bootsy Collins. Check it. Isn't that awesome? And I found my spot, guys. Dizzy Gillespie, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Stanley Clark, Roy Ayers, Herbie Hancock. This is probably my favorite part. Check that out. They got some stuff of Prince's as well. Pretty awesome. Just like that, we we're wrapping it up. We went through it pretty fast. I mean, fast is relative. We've been here for hours, so. So we didn't want to uh, try to show you video of everything, but uh, that was maybe like a tenth of everything that we could have shown you. Maybe not even. But. So much. Yep. So beautiful. That's it, guys. Wrapping up DC for the day. We hope you enjoyed our outing. And uh, we'll try to come back tomorrow again. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs>